just want to hear that sound. It's a vibe. That thing that just kicked in. <laughs> it's so a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. I like the gangbang part. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's not gonna be in like an old porn from the seventies. It do. The background, right? It do. Just the music, right? It's wild when you think about gangbang porn. <laughs> gang banging. <laughs> This could be the soundtrack to my OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> the intro. Damn. It's the intro. Am I the only person that's hot? Yeah, but I will I will be we sometime back. this week, hopefully. Another week, another episode, BYB the podcast. I am your host. I just caught <laughs> regular Jai. I hate you so much. <laughs> I didn't hear what you say. It's too late. It's too late. No, the fuck is not. You had, to, you had to catch it. <laughs> you missed it. You had to catch it. Okay, don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just run it back, and enhance the audio. The so people you, gonna catch it. You just didn't catch it. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to be professional and shit, and y'all niggas is being niggas. There is nothing professional about this shit that we do. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm shocked they haven't shut us down yet. Pretty much. I'm your host, regular Ja. I go by the name of Eighty Proof. And to my left. Our, hey, y'all. Hey. Our beige co host, Miss Pamelita Puswalina. Ew. <laughs> Pamelita Puswalina. What up? God, what? That name is so bad. So bad. That's your name. I mean, ain't nobody tell you to be named that. Kyle, he accused me of having beige rage. Beige rage? Yeah. I think Pam's the only person I know that doesn't have that. That's that like. Nigga, she said she threatened us with emojis, my nigga. Like, <laughs> it was one emoji. You know what? It was only one emoji, <laughs> and that emoji that. said what it needed to say. And then got mad that niggas didn't take the threat seriously. Like, you're not gonna ever threaten yeah, me with an emoji. Waiting. I said, and, um, I didn't really? even, What was the threat? What did I do? Um, I wasn't here and I didn't know about it. Oh. I fussed at y'all for like an hour. Yeah, you should definitely fuss at y'all for that. Yeah. I didn't get fussed at. He said, I, I, "Well, it was a." Ja handles all business aspects of the BYOB podcast, so Ooh, if communication is slapped, I, believe on it. Him, I, believe I just show it. up to talk shit. This is what we doing? Yep. Yeah. This is what the fuck we doing? This is how we, we start? Yeah. This is what we doing today. It's a beautiful fucking day, man. It's beautiful. You know what it's a beautiful day to do? Bang, 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 bang. Started. I'm like, <laughs> Yo, but why does my nigga have a hoodie on? Like, because well, first of all, Smoke, y'all not. Oh, Smokey, a real nigga. Yeah, y'all not gonna disrespect not gonna Smokey Robinson. Okay, that is another one of my aliases. Eighty proof, Smokey Robinson. You know, it's all that. But but no, he out there looking like he's the nigga gangbanging. He really does look like that. I was like. And I'm trying to find out where he found smoke, these actors because they are the OG. Smokey them yeah. probably smokes. He probably got his name from smoking niggas yeah, back in the day. Smokey is an OG. Have. Yeah, kill your homie and your fucking mother. <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Smokey definitely was knocking niggas' moms off. Yo. He probably still Aunties, is. Aunties, grandma. He still <laughs> is. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Oop, there we go. Now the episode is officially started. <laughs> Long as it ain't an episode of the fucking quarantine. The quarantine. Corona. <laughs> God, fuck them. Hey, man, they still opening shit up outside. And these numbers is going up, so they say. But this shit is so wild. Nobody knows what the fuck is really going on with this shit. I were going down at one time, I thought, and now they're going back up. I'm mm-hmm. guessing that's what they're saying. I don't think they that's because really motherfuckers started about. taking this nigga's advice. What was your advice? He told people last time that you <laughs> eating ass kills the Rona. I'm sure I didn't say that. I mean, I said, why not try it? Hey, I also you agree. said racism. And I, eating I, I did ass. say racism kills the corona. You said racism and eating ass. I might have said eating ass kills corona. <laughs> I think eating ass might kill the corona. I might, I might have said that. <laughs> that was you said racism. I haven't caught the corona yet, so I can only tell you guys what I do <laughs> to prevent from catching See, the corona. Ass? I was yeah, going to ask which way you, okay. which way you got rid of it. I'd definitely be an ass, and I'm a racist. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> My difference is I'm a racist. To, I'm a racist to everybody. Like I don't like anybody. I don't like white people. Yeah. I don't like Mexicans. I don't like black people. Yeah, you you know. just don't like people. Yeah, I just don't like people. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! God. I think a lot of the stereotypes are true. <laughs> people hate to admit that shit. The stereotypes aren't stereotypes for no reason. It should be true. <laughs> yeah, there's some truth behind some of it. So this was a great run we had. 
It's fucked up that they about to go ahead and shut us down now. That is not true. They're not going <laughs> to shut us down. I have not said anything bad about Jews. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Apparently, that's what goes on. As the long white ones talk, or the black ones. Yeah, as long as you don't talk bad about Jews, you're okay. Yeah, because yeah, I've never seen a nigga get fired that quick. Yeah, they, that was super quick. That was like hours. I didn't even know the nigga made the statement and he was fired. <laughs> How long ago was it? Was it recent? Because I feel like it was something that dug up, but it couldn't have been something that was like last week or something. Nah. Nobody really knows because this nigga Nick Cannon is always on that. Yeah. But Nick he's he's, he's been on that, that, that woke shit for years. Niggas I, just get Nick fucked up because of Wild and Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. real nigga. <laughs> Drumline Nick and, and activist Nick are two totally yeah. different people. You seen that picture of Nick Cannon walking past Jay Z and them niggas with the, uh... <laughs> the head turban on? Oh my God. I'm going to start rocking head turbans, yo. Do Don't that shit. start rocking head Go turbans. Go ahead. Do that shit. He's because he's going. He's doing it spitefully. I'm not doing it you spitefully. You gonna be trolling? No, I think head turban. You don't, don't even look like the type of nigga that rock head turbans. That's because I'm not. What does the person see? that rocks his turban look like? Not this nigga. Wow, that's so wrong. Why would he do you like that? Because he's light skinned and yeah, he doesn't like his dark skin people. That's wrong. It's Yo, colorism at his finest. Stop with this Willie Lynch shit, man. It's colorism at his finest, you, brother. It's okay. You Nick. Willie Lynch. Just inhale the weed. Willie fucking Lynch. Well, yeah, let's dig into this Nick Cannon shit. Yeah, I think you should apologize. Me personally? No. I don't think you should have apologized either. You said I feel you like said anytime you, 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 you mean some shit you say. That's it. Stand by it. Stand on that shit. I still am not even sure what I, the I nigga see, said. I can see if you uh, if you say something and it it was interpreted wrong, and then you apologize for that. Like, yo, that ain't what I meant. Yeah. But that ain't really apologizing. That's clarification. That's clarification. Yeah, yeah. That's, clarification. that's like, yo, that's not what I meant. But was he lying? Like on Django when he was like, yo, you want us to treat him like white folk? No. It's not what I said. Let me clarify. Treat him like the little retarded boy that come here with his mama sometimes. It's my favorite movie. Yo. That shit funny as hell. But no. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> John watches strange movies. Nigga, that. Django. Well, Django is a strange movie, but this shit is funny. I don't give a fuck. Hey, y'all gonna judge me if I tell you I never saw Django all the way through? I haven't either. I've only seen bits. I mean, and the shit so long is a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, like we only seen bits. But and you've pieces. seen the whole movie. You just never seen it all the way no, through. No, I've only seen bits and pieces. Mostly the one where they're like on the horses with the sheets on their head because yeah. I guess everybody thought that part was funny. That shit is hilarious. That part is funny, but I haven't seen the full movie. I don't even know what it's about. I'm not big on slave movies anyway, so this shit different though. This ain't this ain't the slave movie. This ain't Roots. Roots is the fucking worst. That this ain't my fucking like Roots. Six weeks long. Yeah, it's very, very long. I remember my parents watching that shit when I was in elementary school. Like, the script of Roots is like the encyclopedia. That shit is just, just trash. <laughs> you read that shit? The encyclopedia? No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'll read the encyclopedia before I watch Roots. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's how I feel about that shit. <laughs> nah, nigga. Dude, I've never, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen the whole thing of Roots. Nobody no, has. I don't think anybody has. I don't even think the motherfuckers who directed Roots seen the whole they thing. They directed of Roots. that shit and, and compartmentalized it. Like, look, I'm going to do the first segment. You do the second shit. We just throw that shit all together. So, yeah. I mean, he pretty much was just, all yeah. he pretty much said was the same shit that every. Online hotel person says that black people are the real Jews and white Jews run the world pretty much. Oh, well, I mean, you can't apologize for facts. But no, the crazy thing is, though, like. And I'm going to say they're facts because if you do your history and research, you eventually get back to that. So it's not like the name was wrong. But I think Jewish people are the only ones that have like a good stereotype. And are mad about it. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> like how dare you call me rich? Uh, like, you how dare rich. you say that we run shit? Like well, nigga, you kind of do. Kind of run shit. Like y'all own this shit. I ain't mad at y'all for it. Yeah, facts. Ain't nobody mad at y'all for it. But again, if black people really and Deshaun Jackson said that shit, if we really was it Deshaun Jackson? Yeah, if he black said people really he knew said it who first, we were, and I think that's what was supposed to be like a Hitler quote. It's supposed to be a Hitler quote. That's what I thought happened. I thought it was the Deshaun Jackson shit, and then I thought Nick Cannon like doubled down on it. I think that's how that shit went. Ain't nothing against Jews. Y'all Jews definitely get money. My lawyer is Jewish. One of them anyway. 
gang banging. Yeah, we call it soul. We soul brothers right. and sisters. That's the melanin that connects us. Right. So the people that don't have it have are are a little and I'm, I'm gonna say this carefully <laughs> are a little less and 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 where the term actually comes from because i'm bringing it all the way back around okay. to, to minister farrakhan I love to the where George, they the audio right may now. not have the compassion or the the when they were sent to the mountains of caucasus when they when they didn't have the power of the sun that was <laughs> that the sun then started to deteriorate mm -hmm. them so then they're acting out of fear they're acting out of low self-esteem they're acting out of a, a deficiency mm -hmm. so therefore the only way that they can act is evil the only way they can they, they have to rob steal rape kill and fight or flight in, okay. or, in order to survive Stop him when exactly. he's wrong. so then these people who didn't have what yet. we had and when i say we i speak of the mm -hmm. melanated people right they had to be Not savages they had definitely to be barbaric. They had because they're in these Nordic mountains. They're in these rough, uh, torrential environments. Mm. So they they're acting as animals. Right. So they're the ones that are actually closer to animals. They're the ones that are actually Ooh. the true savages. And then they built up such this this. Sitting I won't say you warrior, but they built up such this 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 conquering mm -hmm. uh barbaric mentality at this point i'm retracting the goddamn apology <laughs> fuck it what did he say wrong i was waiting on something he didn't tell a lie yeah. yeah he didn't tell a yeah. lie by by wrong i don't mean like morally or yeah, whatever the fuck yeah. i mean what did he say that was not a, like a fact factual. like that you cannot research and be proven to be a fact yeah. i could see if he just came out and was like yo white people are just devils and you not know saying yeah. but He's just talking about throughout history how they treated every fucking body else. He better take that apology back. They can fuck off. And see, that's his problem because I saw him the other day. He was like, you know what I'm saying? I got the backlash for the statement that I made, so I apologize. And then when I apologized, they black people. A sellout. Yeah, black people was like, you're a fucking sellout for apologizing. Yeah, they had his back. Like, yo, we're going to be with you. We're going to ride with you regardless. And you out here apologizing for some facts. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Stand on that shit, Nick. Because you was right. Somebody gotta say it. Yeah. He definitely shouldn't go fuck with Diddy though. Oprah offered him ten million too. Fuck, I, I, fuck Oprah. Oprah I, was just ready to get. Oprah did that. So soon as she finds some shit on Nick Cannon, she own a nigga. So she gonna go ahead and throw the documentary out. Uh, Oprah no while and out gonna make that Oxygen Network pop because that yeah. shit don't have shit on it. <laughs> <laughs> so spend ten. Spend ten. You can make a fifty off of it. Why not? But yeah, I mean it's. Who that? Who that? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Dang. I'm like, somebody jumping. Somebody shit booming. Too but yeah, much. I mean, ain't really much to dissect with the, the situation. No. The nigga said what he said. I don't feel like you should apologize. I wouldn't have. Because it's not going to get your job back. Oh, yeah. he, he got... um. He still has the uh, mask. Yeah, the, the mask. Yeah. Like, he got that shit back. Oh, because he apologized? I mean, I figured. Like I don't think they ever took it away. I think it was a possibility. It was a possibility. Yeah. Away. Viacom just fired the nigga immediately. So what's ain't they? Happen? Ain't they the same shit? Ain't Matt Sanger on? One it's on of, CBS. It's on CBS. Yeah. It's so not, I don't think CBS is a Viacom company. I think it is. Mm, I think it is. I'll do my quick Google. So what's gonna happen to Wildin' Out now? Well, that's he released a statement about that too, saying that they kind of. You know, tricked him out of the ownership. So he wants the rights to Wild and Out, which yeah. I think he. They should know do. it's going to be trash without him, right? Yeah. So they might. They should have just gave it to him. Because nigga, definitely... the company is literally Viacom, CBS. Oh, oh you're okay. right. <laughs> well, wait. Why? The mass is on NBC. No, I don't. It's on. That. It's got to be on. I think it's on CBS. No, I don't watch. I don't know. I don't watch it either. I just watch like the clips that I see on social media. Them shits be lit. I be I be locked in yeah, for them yeah. for them little four minutes. Yeah, show me the show me the fire shit, so I ain't got to sit through an hour of bullshit. Oh, it's on Fox. Oh, yeah, so all boom, wrong. all off. That's how we. Which know. I'm None shocked. You know, it. Fox is like no Fox got some shit on them. You know, that's just Fox News. Yeah, it's just Fox that's News. Just Fox, Fox News. News. Yeah, the actual channel Fox is like. Right. So, like I said, I don't think you should apologize for that shit. I don't think so either. I I, I stand on it. So I mean, he, I don't know. You can still get a Netflix deal. Unless they all Jews too, which they probably You can still get some money from Mariah. 
Cool. And she getting some money from one of her other old niggas. Yeah, he wasted her time. <laughs> so he had to run her that money. That shit wild. Mm-hmm. He made her half up. a while and out to be all right though. Half. Like the of the, cause half them niggas is battle rappers, so them niggas can just go back to URL, and they making money right over there now. Carlos, she going to be all right. They still yeah, are they, they under contract? Do they, they, I feel like they're under like some kind of a contract, so they're gonna have to stay. Ain't no more. It's, it's over with. I don't they're, think they cancel Wild. I don't think I they, they cancel just, They just fired Nick. Yeah, I think they just Well, I know uh, DC Young Fly and them was like, yo, I'm... But like you said, they got 85. They got 85 so they don't so need so it. You know what I'm saying? So they can quit. I seen like, Gary Like, Lisa Moan and them, they... I don't know what else she does besides that. She, I'm glad she's... I'm glad canceled, she's though. Yeah, I'm glad they, she's... they canceled her. I just... I was just... They could have got, got her up out of there. They could have got her up out of there. We'd have been like... I just needed a reason to bring it up. She has to go get a nine to five now. Should have sacrificed her, Nick. Stop it. <laughs> Should have sacrificed her. So, oh my god. We're the off button. I think that's it. <laughs> it's a wrap. That's a fucking wrap, there. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice the weakest link for the strongest to survive. Nah, yo, I think if she would have just shut the fuck up, I don't think none of the other shit would have trickled down. That's what a lot of people like, especially these companies during this whole, you know. Black Lives Matter movement and we really standing yeah. together. If y'all just shut the fuck up. Like you notice, know um, Desi, he said the one stupid thing the one time that nigga ain't said nothing no sense. That nigga was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go back to making my shit. Look, what's the uh, the the seasoning company Goya or? Yeah, <laughs> I hear seven fucking beans. Why is y'all just shut the fuck up? Yeah. Let's get into it. <laughs> oh nigga, Goya, they said we they doubled down. Yeah, when we niggas missed, was I like, what I said. We gonna be, boycott it. Nigga, nigga said bye bye. I respect that shit though. And then had Trump in the White House with the Goya products. Like, His daughter too. I respect that shit though. <laughs> the nigga Trump was like this. Nigga, I said what I said and I meant that shit. Trump is, yo, this nigga's the funniest human alive. He might be. I don't give a fuck how much you he hate this nigga. Be. That nigga is definitely the funniest nigga on the planet. Fucking beans. <laughs> That's all I kept looking at. was like, yo, is Fucking that a bag beans. of beans? Like, <laughs> my nigga got beans out here. <laughs> Hey, it be some wild shit going on in the world. Yeah, for real. <laughs> but yeah, um, just shut the fuck up, yo. Like, because if McCormick's come out and say some wild shit or like Lowry, yeah, yeah, like, nah, what am I gonna do? Dog, can you imagine if Old Bay was like, yo, we ne- we never wanted niggas putting our shit on their crabs anyway, nigga. Oh man, <laughs> nigga. All them seafood boils y'all been eating during quarantine. I ain't gonna front. If 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 Old Bay come out as racist, I'll probably cry. Like that shit would hurt me. Yeah. Imagine if Texas Pete came Not out the fact that it's that they Pete racist. Is, yeah. I, I think Texas Pete is definitely them racist. Them too. Probably. But it ain't even I'm the fact sure. that they I, racist. I like... It's the fact that I can't you I gotta boycott. You know how, how hurtful it's gonna be to have to boycott them? You gotta boycott them in public and then in private still eat this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna be I like can't um, do that, man. <laughs> Yo, I've really been doing good with not eating Chick Fil A. Yeah, I, I have to. I, and I be, I, I be, there be some days I drive by Chick Fil A and I be like, damn, I want some Chick Fil A. I haven't I um like eaten shit. like Wendy's. I haven't had Wendy's. Nah, Wendy's. No, nah, Wendy's was like, nah, nigga, that ain't. We ain't got nothing to do. Yeah. We ain't never. <laughs> we ain't never uh, got believe. involved in no politics. I haven't drank a bang. Since I believe yet. it though, because Wendy like. I believe it. The nigga who run Wendy's social media was fucking hilarious at one point. My nigga, Wendy's dropped a whole mixtape. mixtape. And that shit was fire, too. Oh, they under like heat right now, though, for taking all the money from that little loan that they got. One of the like people at the top <laughs> went and bought a, a $1.5 million house. So, so you so telling me Wendy's is not... did some nigga shit? They did some yeah, nigga shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, all signs is points and Wendy's Took is, all that is money some real nigga. <laughs> I feel like Dave Thomas was was down with me, so. Yeah, he might have been. <laughs> Can't never blame people for doing. Look, if you can scam the government, scam the fucking government. Like, do that shit. Fuck them people. Do you think the all the people doing the what do you call it, the unemployment fraud is gonna come back on them? There's no such thing. Oh. I'm just leave it. At that. <laughs> <laughs> just leave it at that. I was looking for the explanation too. Like, there's no such thing. <laughs> I'm sure some people gonna get caught. Somebody gonna get caught. But I'm sure a lot of people not. They ain't gonna get caught right now anyway. It'll probably be later on. Yeah. And then they ain't gonna give a fuck after. You locking everybody up for this unemployment shit? No. No. Hell no. Here's your fine. Pay your fine. Pay your debt back. Yeah. And if you don't pay your debt back, then we'll lock you up. And they ain't gonna get it. But then if you give me a 10 grand plan. front and you're not coming to see me five, till five years from now for it, you can have that shit back. Hmm. Oh yeah, nigga, five years? I, 
Can't if you do the right can't. thing with it. Yeah. I don't know. So, so election time is coming. They cutting checks. Go get them if you can. I think Kanye would have given us more And the second stimulus is coming, too. Y'all think Kanye would have cut us some shit? If you would, if you would have won no. the presidency. what Kanye would have did. The nigga said, hey, don't be surprised if Kanye becomes president one day. Yo. Nah, he dropped out of the race because he said. He no, he's back in. Nah, he, he dropped out. He said he doesn't want to be the first black president to get assassinated. Oh, shit. So, they definitely going to kill Kanye. <laughs> like, oh, I, yeah, Kanye. Yeah. I thought they were going to kill Obama, but I know for sure they're going to kill Kanye. Yeah, I, I don't see him making it too far into his. <laughs> they might catch him at the inauguration. Yeah. They might catch him on election night. Like, nah, nigga. Damn. I don't know, though. It might work in his favor, though. You got America's favorite white woman by his side. America's favorite white family. The family. Yeah, Chris Jenner ain't with the shit. You put them in the White House? The Kardashians is like the mob. You put the Kardashians? Because <laughs> that's essentially what it's going to be. It's going to be yeah. the Kardashians in the White House. The economy probably boomed. Oh, they about because they bought that money. They bought that, like, they bought that motherfucking money. They, they, they bought that shit. If there's one thing they know how to get to, it's a bag. Hmm. So, yeah, I'm all for it. Fuck it. But yeah, um, Migos suing a. That was a random jump. <laughs> I'm trying to cycle through this shit. But... <laughs> it's a mad random jump, just. Uh, so the Migos. So I, I ain't even segue it or nothing. I nothing, just, just <laughs> yeah, Migos. Is, <laughs> I mean, cause I, I had to blindside them, cause they was blindsided when they was finding out that they was it was money being taken from them allegedly. I, I mean, they did what everybody do. They probably signed the contract, didn't read it, cause they was some niggas from the streets. They yeah. saw a couple. I don't think they got done dirty. I think they're salty, cause they're not hot right now. Migos. I don't think Migos is not hot. It's not about them right now. Everybody's on a little baby more than they are on But Migos. if Migos drop right now, yeah, it's, man, it's, still it's, gonna, it's, gonna, it's Migos. They just haven't dropped anything together. But if they drop right now. It's all about little baby and they salty. That's what I think. Nah, it's a good climate. Little baby just on top right now. Yeah, and they don't like that. I think that's all it is. I honestly think that's what it is. It's a good possibility. Women do see jealousy better than we do. Yeah. I think that's what it is. Women do see that shit better than we do. Hmm. But they on the same. They all. They on the same shit though. What does that mean? Still gonna be in competition with each other. If the label, I mean, if we look at it from that perspective, if the label's pushing baby harder, which they they are not really pushing. I mean, you should because he's the hottest thing in the streets, and they're not really pushing me. At this point, he just has momentum. He don't even need to get pushed. At this point, yeah, but I mean, yeah, it, you know, it's still yeah. all the behind the scenes shit, go. But oh yeah, f- f- yeah, yeah. I mean, they still got to pay for advertising, yeah. and pay for this, and pay for that. Yeah, I mean. No, that's just somebody hit know. somebody hit P and be like, "Yo, I need a verse from one of your artists for this track." He be like, "I got baby for you because I can get two hundred grand for this baby verse." <laughs> Easy, yeah. Quavo gonna get me seventy five grand for the verse, but baby, right now give me two hundred for this verse. So, boom, uh, drops mic. I think they probably did some. Like I said, they just signed the contract. They seen the money that was in front of them. You flash a couple million in front of somebody, yeah. and then once you actually start getting that money, you sit back and look at it, you be like, yo, I can have so much more money. Yeah, it's same shit that happened with me yeah. a couple months ago. Yep. She just signed the shit. And then, to keep it a buck, the average street nigga don't, they looking at these different words, the way they word these contracts, the shit sounds sweet as hell. Yeah. But then, the way they legally word this shit, you really getting fucked, you just don't know. You know what the issue is? I'm going to see a lot of black entertainment lawyers. Yeah. I'm sure they're there. We just probably that's just one of them untapped shits. Like we don't check for shit like that. But I'm saying every time you hear about people having problems with these lawyers it's and shit like that, a, they're not. It's black. the ones that Nick Cannon was. Yep, yeah, I was about that's to the say ones that. Nick Cannon was talking about. Which is cool. I again, I'm not mad at them because as, as a nigga who's about business, if yeah. I can write up a contract, you gonna sign this shit, and it's in my benefit. Yeah, damn right. Hmm. That's your fault. But. You got to look at people who aren't necessarily just after the money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but that's who who the fuck isn't in that lifestyle? I mean, you could be after the money, but still have people's best, but still be a good hearted person. Shout out to Rich Paul. You know what I'm saying? I, I, just, I need Bobby. Because we can all win. That's who yeah. It's not like there's not enough money for everybody to win. That's a fact. Yeah. That's who Lil Yai need. Bobby Vanilla. I need that nigga's lawyer. <laughs> yeah. 
I need whoever the fuck his lawyer and agent was. Give me Sam Bradford's agent. Okay. And if y'all don't know nothing about Sam Bradford, he was probably the most injured quarterback in NFL history. <laughs> I think he played one full season. I mean, he played for the Lions, though. Like, you know, he played for us. He played for the Vikings. He played for the Chiefs. He played for the Ramp. Like, but he was when getting. He was first getting mauled. It was for the for Detroit. Yeah, though. he was getting bags though to do nothing but sit on the sideline. Hmm. I need that life. I know Megatron was mad as a bitch that that nigga was his quarterback. <laughs> Like, nigga, I'm the best receiver in the league right now, and this nigga cannot fucking throw to me for shit. Because every time I look up and I'm wide open, this motherfucker's getting up off the ground <laughs> with the fucking ball in his head. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. It's These young motherfuckers don't read their paperwork. And like I said, most of the time, I would bring my own lawyer in. But, see, it was probably like a trust thing. They probably seen the dude that was like, okay, he with the, he with the fucking, yeah. he with the label, the label. Cause I'm sure that, um, P, I'm sure he play fair. I ain't really never heard nothing bad about homie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what yeah. he was saying too. He was a millionaire before. Yeah. He, yeah. All street this, money, so. yeah. But he, that's what I'm saying. I've always heard of him to play fair. You know what I'm saying? So they not suing the, it's like, not even about yeah. P and them. It's about their they lawyers. They suing just the lawyer. Just they the not lawyers. even suing P and them. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. So they probably. P probably never had a bad dealing with him. So what it was, he probably brought them in and them trusting P. He was like, okay, he P lawyer. Fuck it, we're just, he do P right, he gonna, he gonna do us right. But that's not always the case. So at this point, the world needs more black entertainment lawyers. Very much so. Black entertainment lawyers, that's for black benefit. Right yeah. now is a good time to do, if you're black, right now is a good time to do anything. Facts. That is so true. Anything because Anything we are sta- yeah we're standing behind each other like never before. Yeah. And if you have can't put a splash in a white company, and I'm not even being racist, but if you have a white company, you have a black company, it's somebody personal that you know. Yeah. You're, you're at this point, you're going to go to that personal person that you know versus going to that big corporation. Yeah. That's true. So right now is a great time to do anything business wise if you're black. Yeah. Get your OnlyFans. <laughs> I don't know how that you could. That's that a fact. Ties into I mean, that, but this shit works. OnlyFans is popping right now. Some people don't want to watch Pornhub. Yeah, because the wanna, videos don't be changing. Personal. It be the same thing. Yeah, I'm on like page 37 of Pornhub. I'm yo, tired. don't it make you mad? Because you be like, yo, I just so, saw this. And then when you get to page 37, it's repeats of what's on page three. Facts. Like, like, this yo, is just a fucking different title. Is, they need to tighten up. So look, after you binge watch, like, when does the next season of Pornhub come out? I don't or know. is it over? I need them to release Pornhub too. <laughs> I've, Pornhub too and Netflix too. I, I don't I'm watch done. everything on both. I think I watched all the seasons. Like, <laughs> first of all, I heard it was supposed to be like a whole like Ebony thing. Like Pornhub was supposed to have. Like, I remember seeing that shit. Yeah, too. and I was like, oh, yeah. really? It's gonna it be didn't out? happen. It didn't happen because I went to. But yeah, they need to go ahead and get some new shit X and XX too because they ain't got no new shit up there. Are either. we bad because we went and checked? Yeah, I think we. <laughs> I definitely went and checked too. Check. Or are we good? Cause I, I was like, y'all, y'all doing all black porn? Let me see what this about. I got there. I was or like, are we nice. good? Because we went and checked. Because it's like support. You know. Yeah, that's support. true. You know, it makes me mad when you click on the ebony category and it's still not black people. Yep. <laughs> like, God damn. like only one of them black is the girl or some shit. They don't even be that sometimes. They be the Hispanics. Be that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Like, like I said, black people. Sometimes it be straight white people. That's just yeah. weird. Yeah. It really is. That's a fact. I don't know. Shit is porn is a weird. It's, it's like a wormhole. What do you mean? You get yeah. Like you don't ever watch like the recommended videos under the video. I do. Watching? That's what I. Yeah, it's yeah, related. That's, that's yeah, 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 it is. It's a, it's a wormhole. Like so, you just kind of keep. Yeah, but I've I seen a lot of it. I need something fresh. Like you fuck around and make a playlist. And then you don't click none of the other videos that you put in there because you keep clicking the uh yeah, that's the right. shit underneath. Y'all that's be watching right. porn like y'all watch regular TV, like shit. you're not like nah. you're not even jerking off or nothing. You just watch porn. No, I don't. <laughs> Niggas eating popcorn like yeah. hell of a story. Like, <laughs> I do sometimes. Yeah, she, she sometimes I do like the story the in the beginning. I like storylines. Sometimes I like the I like storylines. Yo, they it's like little, it's like porn. Background. It's like porn like movies. Yeah, give me a background. Oh, I know. Like actual movies, like. But instead of sex scenes, it's like real porn scenes. But like in between, it's like a real fucking movie. Yeah. 
That's some shit you go into the sex store and they charge you seventy dollars for the DVD. Like, why is this fucking DVD seventy dollars? Shit is an a hour and fifty two minutes. <laughs> 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 Have y'all watched like? Have y'all ever watched like the spoofs of movies? Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I saw Nicki Minaj up there, and I was like, "Is this Nicki?" I was like, "That ain't Nicki," but it looked like her. I think that's all Cosby spoof. Yo, like <laughs> Cosby, <laughs> like a Cosby show. Putting. <laughs> this shit be <laughs> so, so bad. Weird. Nah. So bad. <laughs> nah. But no, nah, I mean, some of them shits be funny. <laughs> they got a Friday one. <laughs> That's what happens when you get to like page twenty seven. You just yeah, start you watching other shit. shit. You be like, you like Friday. Fuck, what is this about? <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, that shit funny as the hell. girls in their cars is like weird to me. Like they'll be in their cars, like, oh, there's a park ranger. Let me just <laughs> let me not. And I'm like, okay, so you're just in your car. And she's like, oh, it's a person walking by. And I'm like, you just got your legs wide open wide right here. Over. And I'm like, wow, people are really doing this, driving yeah. around, parking in places. Y'all ever watch the uh, the pickup girls? Pornhub cutting checks. Facts. Facts. Y'all ever watch the pickup girls? What's that? Mm. It's like the nigga they be going around like oh oh you I got they be in like wherever the fuck overseas but they be paying them like right there like yo I got this. Just you trying to get the car? I fuck. Just, I just want some head. So they like all right. What? <laughs> that ass. Look, oh, what is he be like, yo, one of the shits I seen the nigga was like all right. He was like, yo, this head is terrible. He was like, I'll, I'll double it if you let me fuck you. <laughs> what are you watching? I've never seen that. No, yo, I was about to ask the I've same this shit, yo. And I watched. It was just some random, it was some random shit. shit so you ended up watching the whole fun. series? <laughs> season two should come out in August. <laughs> <laughs> I think season two come out in like August or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, that shit, wow. Wow, I've never heard of that. Dog, it's like, it just, it's, I guess it's big overseas. The only thing I've seen from overseas is like the tax, the fake taxi drivers. It's it's that same kind of shit where it's like uh, fake reality. Have I? Huh? You haven't maybe, seen the fake taxi shit? Maybe I've been missing out on it's, overseas it's like, porn. It's like the same. Um, yeah. It's like the same fucking um, like production company type shit. Oh. Uh-huh. Then like, they got the shit where like the um, the fake security guard at like a like a Walmart or some shit. Like he he catches the girl stealing. If you see me on I'm porn, not, mind your business. I'm not giving. <laughs> If you see me on Pornhub, don't mind your business. Subscribe to my shit. <laughs> no, that's, <fine. laughs> that's a fact. Subscribe to my shit. <laughs> shit real I'm out obviously here. up here for a reason. I need that. Only <laughs> Do I want more to drink? Yes. Yes, you do. You gonna put your dick in somebody's daughter tonight? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he said. I'm somebody's kidding. daughter does deserve some penis tonight. Hate. Sun is shining. <laughs> gonna be a great day yeah, it's gonna be a beautiful day i'm gonna do some wild shit this weekend it's yeah. definitely gonna be a beautiful day i'm gonna have a wild ass weekend i don't work until next weekend so i'm about to live my best life speaking of wild weekends hold on wait before we even get there i'm gonna step <laughs> off camera i need to grab a drink <laughs> see, see where some my, hand sanitizer see wherever my uh phone at yo because i don't know where the fuck i put it and i ain't feel like getting up so since you up you know how black people do that shit well, hey why you up can you uh you want me to call it is it in your pocket I would tell you to call it, but I don't want to put my number out on. It's not. It's not that one. You don't want to. I'm, I mean, I'm just it's gonna. IPhone. You don't want me to. Oh, I don't oh yeah, one. yeah. I can oh. do it. My house yeah. is clean, so I'll be able to. Yeah. Check. It's probably in the car. You about to go out there and check? I mean, you up? We just wasting mad film right now. He's lost his fucking mind. <laughs> but nah. So we just um. Now what was we talking about while we waiting for this nigga to come? I don't know. Did you tell me just like I'm? She said, I don't know, just. I had to cut myself off. Say some shit I don't like. I wasn't about to say anything you didn't like. Is it on vibrate? Oh, that's my name on your phone? No, like nothing special. It's been that way for like 15 years, so I mean. Oh, and I gave you a nickname. For real? Let me see. I'm gonna drink some cat today. Hey, <laughs> when you drink, you that. ain't give me this fucking nickname. Um, you're. I still call you that, and my kids still call you that. Anyway, speaking of wild weekends, this gonna be a wild one. Uh-oh. I'm drinking the cat today. Hey. Free my nigga Tory Lanez. <laughs> no, don't free Tory. 
Yeah, fuck out Tory. of here now. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Tory shot Meg, B. Did he do it? He oh, shot me. I don't think he did it. Fuck you mean he ain't do it? He had the gun on him. He had a gun, but that doesn't mean he did it. She said he shot me. She didn't say that. She still didn't say it. She said somebody hurt her intentionally. Can we discuss why Tori is 5'3 and 120 pounds before we talk about anything I else? I think that's why he pulled the grips out. First of all, coming from experience, short guys packed a hammer. The little ones, it'd be the little ones okay, that got that is not with so, this, I'm just that's saying, so that's probably why was she was about. dealing with him, if she was, because he's little and he had a thing on him. So. That's not, I mean, that's good. If, more power to that brother if he do. I'm, I'm glad you clarified that. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's good for, I was going no, to say that's but, good for her. He, I mean, from his but, shows, did y'all not think he even looked little when he was swinging on all that shit and um, standing on people? I've he never really seen, small. every time I've seen Tori Lanez, he's sitting down. No, have nah, you seen, nigga. It's he, one video where this nigga was sitting in a radio station and, and got up and was the same height. <laughs> I heard about it. I still haven't seen it. Yeah, but when you go look at like past videos of his shows of him climbing and stepping on people, he looks little. But even, I mean, even little, I'm thinking like five, 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 seven. Nah, he looks like, short. That's short. He look little. You know what? You got to look at some of these niggas when they posting pictures and they be on the street and they standing by a little light pole. Look at how little they look. They look small. They little. He looks short to me. I was not surprised not at all. fucking tall a light pole. Everybody, Shaq will look no, little sorry. next to no, a no, light no. pole. No, there's a difference. If I stand next to one and he stand next to one, it's going to be a difference. How Pam are, is literally How are built. you standing, though? It's wild to say. Like, how are you straight up. How are you gotta, standing at this light pole? Is it like your butt cheeks wrapped around it like they be do, like the Instagram models? Like, I don't think You know what's really that. wild? Pam is really built like Meg. Yeah. Oh, thanks. And the, the height, everything. The, yeah, like everything. She built like Meg. She ain't got Meg knees. You got Meg knees? Do you have Meg knees? I don't know. I got a drink. I don't have knees. I thought she was about to get up. And let, me, yeah. let me see. <laughs> Y'all don't get to see it ever, but Pam built like Meg. So I can't imagine you fucking a nigga that's 5'3". I, my, I dated somebody who was shorter. He's what shorter than me, shorter than Jordan. I think he was, what, 5'4"? Jordan is like 6'4". Everybody's yeah. yeah, I was about but, to yeah, say. He, he was short. <laughs> She's tall as shit. Y'all. Was he at least stocky though? No, he was short and a little chunky, but he was short. That's what stocky means. No, like Jordan, your child is bigger than yeah, five three hundred and twenty yeah. Facts, <laughs> but he looks little to me. Stories really, always look small to me. I was not surprised. Really I was like, oh, he does look small. So why do you think Tori shot me? Um, he didn't shoot her. <laughs> I don't think he shot her. He didn't shoot her. It's not making sense. He like, in the foot. Shot her. So it's like six different stories. So of course, <laughs> he didn't shoot. I don't think he did it. They said allegedly. Apparently, they was in the car together, and the jokes are always funnier than the truth. By the of way, of course. What uh, that Harlem night shit had me crying last night. Crying. Oh yeah, I I'm put sorry. that fucking razor fucking away. Tears. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so fucking funny. Yo, the internet is a hilarious place, man. The internet is trash. <laughs> nah, that shit is fucking hilarious. That shit is trash. If you say and the wrong shit. I love shit, every yeah. second of the trash that the internet is. If you yeah. say the wrong shit on Twitter, they are going to destroy you. Yeah. Like. Yo, because there's really people on Twitter that just sitting around waiting for a nigga to say something stupid. I just remember seeing Kyle on Twitter. I was like, wait, that ain't my I feel Kyle. Like, I feel oh, like, like man, but I feel like I am one of the few people who successfully fought back against that shit. I said, is that Kyle? What the hell is this? I couldn't fight back once it got to Instagram and Facebook, though, which is way right. too much. Instagram, that's where I saw it. I said, oh, shit. Twitter, I fought back against it. Once it hit Instagram and it was like a million people, I was like, yeah, I ain't got nothing for y'all. I can't. I don't have 250,000 rebuttals. I don't. <laughs> so why do y'all think he shot her? Why is she big? She probably said some wild shit to him. She was whooping that nigga ass. She probably, <laughs> he probably tried to get out. She was like, what the fuck you think you're going? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck you talking to? You know Tori be cocky, so he probably said some wild shit to her. She probably said some wild, disrespectful shit back. Yeah, she probably yoked him up. The nigga was like, man, put me down. <laughs> I think he was doing something with the best friend. And he was like, bitch, you think I'm playing with you? I'll shoot you. She was like, nigga, your little ass ain't going to fucking shoot me. And he shot her in the foot. I think he was doing something with the best friend. She probably told the nigga, nigga, the gun bigger than you. How you going to She goes, it's a wild, disrespectful shit. But nah, they said that she said he was protecting her. I mean, you know, you know how that go at the same time. But 
I think it was an accident. Or even if Tori pulled the gun out and the gun accidentally went off and it shot her in the foot. Yeah. The question that I still have for this whole scenario is why was the gun even in play? But they said it was some attackers. Like they said they somebody in, was coming to like like they get had a mad driver too, so they all had to be in the back seat. Because they had a driver. Oh, Tori wasn't driving? No. He I thought wasn't. Tori was driving. No, they had a driver. I definitely thought Tori was driving. Oh, my driver would have took that motherfucking charge. Bitch. <laughs> like, what the fuck? fuck? Nigga, I got 50 bands. That's what I'm saying. Something was going right on now. in what the back the seat, is what on? I'm telling you. Something happened in that back seat. And that's where Maybe he was back there, goddamn. Fucking with her friend. Nah, he was probably back there, goddamn, knocking it back, and that shit fell out of his, his waistband and went off of some shit. I don't think he intentionally shot her. If he shot her. Tori shot her. I don't think he shot her on purpose. I don't think he shot her. I mean, he still fucking shot her. I don't think he <laughs> shot her on purpose. Yeah. It was somebody else. Well, it was on purpose or accident. It's not my job. It was job still to somebody else in the car because the driver was still there. I know the driver was in. <laughs> How y'all know the driver the didn't fuck? do it? What? We don't know. Nigga, where's this clue? Is Colonel Mustard? Because the driver <laughs> didn't get arrested. <laughs> I know the driver didn't do it. They didn't arrest the driver. Well, you know what? Probably because nobody else had like previous like gun charges or whatever. Tori probably had something. <clears throat> and I'm telling y'all, it was a driver. <laughs> so when it comes no. out, then I'm right. One thing I know about life is there's two places in this fucking planet that you don't want to get caught with a gun, and that's New York or LA. It was a driver. It wasn't Tori. Okay. He was fucking that's with the, friend. That's the story you stick with? He was fucking with the friend <laughs> in the backseat. And the argument started. Should have tried to hit both of them. Okay. You got two supermodels new. I'm going to fuck them both. I ain't got to choose. And why Kylie ain't saying shit? She was at the fucking party. Because she set the she whole shit out. She the car with them. Oh, we Kylie, don't know. Kylie put the hit out. Well, nigga, what do you mean? It's the Kardashian curse. Kylie put the hit out. Isn't that what they call that shit? Mm-hmm. The Kardashian curse. Maybe Kylie did Nick, You heard what happened to the last security guards. Nigga, you don't even know what happened to the last <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe Kylie shot her. Maybe she did. <laughs> it was. We first got the name. It was Kylie Jenner. It Kylie be, Jenner's the it one that shot her. It could have been Kylie. Pit. She could have been mad for her hand. Y'all telling me Kylie Jenner a shooter? That's what y'all telling me? Hey. Just, hey. Please shut the fuck up. I wouldn't put it past her. She. Tori shot her. He didn't shoot her. <laughs> Maybe Tori was shooting at Kylie Jenner. Tori, why did you shoot Meg? That's all. <laughs> no. Like, I just need somebody to just really come out and tell this full story. I don't think it's ever going to come out. They're not cooperating. Which doesn't make any sense. If he shot her, don't you think she'd be like, yeah, this is what the fuck happened? No. You got to realize, Meg ain't no industry joint. Meg is really from the trenches. You know what? Meg is not cooperating with no fucking police. The weird shit is, though, they originally said that she had cut her foot on some glass, right? Yeah, yeah that was crazy. I seen that, yeah. So maybe this whole shooting her in the foot shit is just some publicity shit. I don't yeah. know how well it's going to go for Tori because he shot Meg in the foot, but... In L.A. <laughs> well, from the looks of the picture, or the video, when she was walking and she was limping, it was like, so she got yeah, shot. She was bleeding. The, yeah, it was bleeding, but she got shot in the same place because there was more than one shot in her foot. She said bullet. See, I didn't know that part. <clears throat> I didn't know it she was. She said bullet. See, they did say she got shot mul- like, multiple times. Yeah, multiple times. times, but it says bullets. She said she got the bullets removed from her foot. But if you look at that video, when she's stepping down, that little blood... It's like one part in her foot. It doesn't look like. So she got shot twice in the same part of her foot. Twerk, bitch. I'm just just saying. Like, I'm confused. Because it's only one foot. So did she get shot in the same spot twice? She cut her damn foot. Ain't no bullets. Nothing. He didn't shoot her. (laughs) I got your back, Tori. I hope Tori didn't shoot me. But if you look, I'm like, yo, she can. I don't know. Look at how she's walking. That looks like somebody stepped on something. What did they charge him with? Just concealed weapon, right? We haven't charged him with actually any kind of sort mm-hmm. of shit. I think so. it's just because yeah. he had a gun. And I think he's going to get deported. I mean, whatever. But I mean, is getting deported from America really a bad thing in 2020? Uh, you're, getting yeah, back, you're, back to, you're getting sent back to Canada, B. <laughs> right. Sign me up. I'm going to go to Canada, too. And you going back to Canada in the summertime? Sign me up. It ain't cold or none of that shit? Yeah. They Rona ain't jumping out there either. Nope. They can. They got some women there. They have Boy. really, they have really, really Boy, great water. Shout out to Ontario. Too. I bet they do got no, some No, they're water. water. Like I, if you, I, I bet that shit is some water. 
Like, if you bring it here, you'll get arrested. Like, you can't bring it across. Oh, for State you can't do that anyway. You can't bring no. No, kind but of their water is some different kind of water. That shit is. Hmm. No, but seriously, you can't do. You can't bring fruit. You can't bring anything from another country here. They're yeah, really strict on that. Shit. Yeah. But yeah, that water is different. Like you go to like fucking that somewhere in South like. America and get some plums or some shit, and you put them in your suitcase. So you, you might. You will be arrested. Yeah. At customs. I'm not doing that. You might. You might as well have a brick. Of, That's a fact. <laughs> a brick you on might you. as well have drugs on you. <laughs> But yeah, that shit is crazy, man. But then the way they worded it, they, they said she was fleeing. Like that's what I'm saying. There's so many different stories. Yeah, like, it doesn't make sense. He didn't shoot her. But I, like I said, I think they they said I ain't gonna say I think they said that somebody came to attack, and I guess Tori probably went to grab the shit, and he probably just don't know how to handle the hammer. Well, he's so five he probably, three, so he probably was closer to her knees than he was <laughs> of anything else. It's a reality TV show coming out. Watch. Yeah, he probably just didn't know how to handle the shit, and he went to go goddamn pull it out and let off and hit her. Tori about to trying drop to it. aim at whoever the fuck was coming. Kylie Jenner. They about to drop a single together. I'm telling you, it's gonna <laughs> it's be a wild it's, shit. It's something coming out. I think it was thing. Kylie, bro. I think Kylie ran up with the ooh for hanging out with Jordan. I think she had the motherfucking ooh and was like, "Yo, y'all niggas gonna respect." And she said, "Nigga, y'all niggas gonna respect me. Y'all think I ain't about this shit?" Just saying. It's a reality show coming out. It was Kylie Jenner, yo. It was a driver. It was Kylie Jenner that was busting that Meg. A Tory shot Meg. I don't care what y'all tell me. Tory uh, shot Meg. I'm telling y'all right now. That they ain't, they ain't looking, looking at me no... crazy, but I'm telling you, the headlines is gonna be Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner was shooting at Meg and Tory. This thing said Travis Scott. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't about Travis Scott and Tory. That's her baby dad. He had to ride for his queen. Just call. He was he trying to it. Travis Scott was Please trying stop to, talking Just just. He, just was, sh- he was trying to De-escalate the situation And Kylie That's was like Nah fuck that That Ed will really Just kick my ass and Kylie like, was like I need a piece Travis Scott was like Yo look chill This ain't mind. that deep Kylie was like Yo fuck I that stop Kylie pulled the grip out Started dumping And Tori had to do What he had to do He just accidentally Shot me I think I don't even think Tori shot her I think it was the bullets From Kylie gun Kylie Jenner shot me with the driver and Chris came and pulled up he was losing his mind Chris who? Jenner she came and pulled up and this whole shit I think Chris really a shooter I think no, Chris I believe Jenner. that <laughs> I think Chris Jenner really would dump on some shit yeah though. that I do believe but nah let me stop just talking some random shit I'm drunk but um how are y'all drunk already? I'm not drunk I said I need to stop drinking um I just be trying to say I'm drunk so I can get away with saying stupid shit. Um, <laughs> wow. I got shit to do, so I got to make this last all day long. No, that's a fact. Um, you know, that's about it. We got... And by shit to do, I mean somebody's daughter. Hey. No, I'm just joking. No, I mean, I'm not, but, you know. <laughs> all hopes. Got to get you a nice mouth hug today. Oh. Well, yeah. Oh, rest in peace to Naya Rivera, too. That shit is sad. That is very sad. How do you follow it up after her saying you did a mouth hug today? That, that shit, I didn't, because so... I didn't, I didn't, I was leading with that anyway. I didn't yeah. hear her say that. Just... But, <laughs> nah, that shit, that yeah, shit is a fucked up situation. That's sad. They yeah. said she used her, like, last little bit of energy to get her son and on the, the boat. fucking boat. Her son told the story, like, he was like, yo, and I looked, and she just wasn't on top of the water no more. So... I guess they said like a rip current or something grabbed it. That shit's sad, yo. It is. It is. So, and then um, Tamar Braxton tried to kill herself yesterday. That's what they said too. Really? Yeah. yeah. She had sent some. The text that she sent to her family was like, sound like she was ready to get up out of here. You know, they actually like found. She actually attempted like they yeah. found her in a hotel room. Somebody found her. Her, uh, her boyfriend did. Yeah. That's wild. Hey man. She was like unconscious and shit. She um she dumped back pills and like yeah. half a bottle of liquor. Talk to somebody, man. Facts. Yeah, that shit crazy. Talk to somebody. If it ain't somebody you know that you can trust in your personal life, go get a therapist. There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Talk to somebody. Yeah. Hopefully. Ain't no updates on the shit, so hopefully she got them pulled through. Yeah, she's, uh, I think she's alive. Yeah, I mean, I know she's, I mean, if she was, like, if she would have passed, like, it would have been everywhere right now. Yeah. So, I'm talking about, like, as far as, like, her actual condition, like, if she's 
unconscious, if she's conscious, if she, you know what I'm saying? We don't know. Yeah, they're not going to say all that. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. The last I seen, they said she was, like, unresponsive and shit. But, That's scary. But still, like, breathing on her own. So. Got to take care of your mental health, people. You really do. Got to take care of it. Especially in the black community. I don't know why that shit's so fucking taboo. Because it's, it's like that. You're brought up that way. Like Yeah, but that don't mean we got to keep fucking... Like, we always talk about breaking generational curses and mm-hmm. all that shit, but it's like the ones that we really need to break, like the stigmas, we don't. Yeah. That's true. Talking about mental health and talk about health in general. Facts. Like, the crazy shit is, if if I was in a room at a party and I was like, I don't drink, niggas would look at me like I was crazy. Like, you don't drink? What the fuck? But if I was in a room full of people and I was like, y'all don't really drink water like that, nobody would be like, oh, oh yeah, you're wild. Maybe a couple people might look at me sideways, but like most people, nah, like, never looked at you like you're wild. That's what I'm saying. But most people would be like, "Oh, oh okay." Yeah. Now I'm saying so. It's just like, yo, if I don't drink water, like that's kind of acceptable. But if I don't drink some shit that's literally poisoning me, that's that's crazy. I drink both. <laughs> in abundance. I'm just I'm just using it. <laughs> drink as, both in abundance. I'm using it as an example. Now I'm saying. <laughs> Somebody says they don't drink water. I just. I automatically think they stink. Yeah, me too. And me, and on top of that, I was going to say something that was just if you're a woman, so you inappropriate. Don't drink water, stay away from well, it. I want to hear it now. Because I can only imagine what it tastes like if it's if yeah. you don't drink water. That shit's probably disgusting. And that shit is only going to be imagined because I'm never going to. If you don't drink water, I'm definitely not putting Oof. my mouth nowhere near you. Oof. I don't even want to breathe the same oxygen you breathe. Facts. I don't want to do it anyway. It's wrong out here. <laughs> not if you eat ass. <laughs> We're on the free. Hey. We're on the free. Yeah. I don't know. You say you gonna try it? I don't know. Hey man, it's twenty twenty. You about it's to twenty twenty. Like, we gonna we gonna talk about this until you do it. That's okay. The you world know. has really come to a pandemic before you ate ass. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> people out here dying, B. And you niggas and is dying you and you ain't eating no ass. ass. Like you're wild. <laughs> You want to die before you eat some ass? You're not trying to live your life to the fullest at this point? You got to do it. That's what the corona should have taught you. Live your life to the fullest. And eat some ass. And eat some ass. <laughs> Who said that? Gandhi? Live your life to the fullest and eat some and ass? eat some ass. You don't think about that when you leave today. They going to quote me when I leave this earth, man. Facts. <laughs> All the ass eating quotes is no good. <laughs> <laughs> They gonna have Aristo, some deep shit. Yeah, I seen some shit that was even too wild for me the other day. Nostra Diamonds with some what deep shit, it? and then just eat ass. Hyphen Kyle. The nigga asked her. The nigga asked the girl what her butt plug smelled like. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! What the yeah. fuck? I fucking cry. <laughs> <laughs> Some shit, Jason. Asked. That's a wild Sounds shit like to shit ask. ask. It wasn't him, but that's it wasn't a, him. No, it wasn't. Oh, I'm surprised. That's some wild shit to ask. What's wow. your butt plug smell like? Wow. Wonder what made her the fucked up thing. Yeah, that's a valid question. Yeah, because they be like, um, <laughs> wow. The fucked up yeah, thing. That's a valid question. Let me smell your butt plug. That's real. Oh man, that's different. <laughs> It's so bad. Alright, man. Let's go ahead and start <laughs> wrapping this shit up. <laughs> so we can... Let me smell your butt plug. I'm trying to kick it now. <laughs> so, Gang baby, bang. tell me what that That sounds like a BET uncut song. Like. You never heard? Oh, I heard it. I'm just saying yeah, that sounds like some, what some that new thing smell shit. like. That video was horrible. I'm it trying was. to kick oh it tonight. Oh my god, I remember that video. The goat video is always going to be tip drill. Do you have a fresh pair of panties on? Hey, speaking so of that. Her and I said, what that smell like? Wait, speaking of that though, that verse. Snoop Dogg versus DMX. Oh yeah, that That's is. going to be amazing. How did I not put that on the docket? Yeah, that is next Wednesday. That shit should be dope. I think well, Snoop is going to watch DMX. Personally. Snoop's catalog is just too wild. Yeah. 
Dog, that's what, like, the only niggas who disagree is just all the hood niggas. Yeah. But that's because them niggas just, they, they just. It's going to be like a 13 7. They think victory. it's going to be. Unless they do the same song like a few times, because you know you got. DMX got some songs that's been done over a few times. They're the same damn song, but it's like. <laughs> yeah, but Snoop, like, that nigga shit ranges from 91 to. Because Deep Cover came out in 91 and 92. I know Dre's album was 92. Yeah. The Chronic was 92, but Snoop was with Dre before the album came out. So it was deep cover. I don't know. I think it's going to be it's going to be good though. Oh, then he got motherfucking he got shit with Pop. He got new shit like I was like, you didn't get to no limit Snoop and like it's was, it was a lot. Mm. <laughs> so. Damn, I'm trying to think it's a damn DMX. I think he might have lost yeah, he's probably gonna win like six or seven rounds, but it's gonna be a, a pretty much a landslide. Uh, then, uh, what are you gonna do when Snoop drop motherfucking next episode? Gin and juice. Hmm. Nothing but a G thing. He gonna growl. DMX is gonna pray like fifty times. Cause I'm like, dang, he's not. He's <laughs> definitely not gonna be drinking. Snoop gonna drop some of his shit with Pharrell. He ain't got nothing for those. Yep. Ooh. That's why, like, I see DMX winning slipping. I see DMX winning what these bitches want. Mm-hmm. The Rough Riders anthem. Rough Riders anthem. Yeah, X gonna win a couple of them. What's my name? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He probably dropped that at the Snoops. What's my name? He's not gonna drop the y'all gonna make me lose my life. That's not gonna win. Yeah, it ain't, but he gonna put it up. He's gonna drop it, but it's not Definitely. gonna win. You're not. I mean, it depends on what it goes up against. It's not gonna win. It depends on what I it really goes I really did up. not like that song. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. I really is, he, is it because of the strip club line? <sighs> that shit is still a wild line to me. And I love DMX to death, but that's the wildest line. What do you say? It's like when I go to that strip nigga said, it's "Y'all like, niggas remind me of a strip club." Yeah. Every time I come in here, it's like I gotta get my dick sucked. <laughs> nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, you probably won't play that. <laughs> no, he's, he's got to play. No, that. that's one of his yeah, biggest fucking hits. He's gonna play that shit. Damn. I mean, we know what he meant, but at the same time, it's I the don't. Way, it's the no, way. I don't. No, I still don't. To this day, I still, don't, I, I still don't know what he meant. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't. As 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 X. He might not even know. No, then he got. I don't know. X got some shit though, because they doing features too. So yeah, X. I mean, he got blackout. Right. Then he got motherfucking um, the shit from Hard Not Life. X is not no slump, but it's just you don't have the. The power that Snoop had, like you, yeah. you got, you yeah, had a Snoop run. Snoop has more commercial hits and shit. Yeah, and you had a run. But hmm. you know what? To be honest, what these I'm bitches thinking, want from a nigga? Depending on what song, that's that shit what, gonna be fine. He gonna win that shit when he drop yeah. what these bitches want of from course. a nigga. He's definitely gonna win that. <laughs> He's definitely. Is gonna it gonna be like edited? Like, is he? No, no you, got, you got. Versus. Versus. Yeah, it's on, it's on verses. Yeah, it's bitches, and he might have Cisco in the back. Oh. That'd be fire. He might have hey, you have Cisco in the back. I might give you an extra <laughs> round just cause. He might have Cisco in the back. Though. Drew Hill was is one of my top R and B. Oh solos, hell so. yeah, Cisco. His solo album was amazing. The Unleash a Dragon. It was, was actually Unleash Dragon was fire end. from the beginning to yeah. the end. Unleash was. Dragon was was fire. Yes, Cisco don't get his credit though. No, I just, no. I mean, the, the greatest thing he's ever did to me is give me Maya. He brought Maya to the world. So. The Dong songs did amazing things oh, in my yeah. life. St- to, this, to this day! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thong, to thong, this thong, day! Thong. Then they had like eight bars and he just repeated the whole song. It was one of the greatest songs ever. The, Jesus walked on water. Cisco walked on a group of bad bitches. He too is little he was like really Tori. Walking he did walk on a group of bitches. And he's little asses. like Tori. Tori be walking on people too. He's little. <laughs> I'm just saying. He too is very little. Tori shot me. <laughs> Tell you with college. It's the know. wildest shit of the week. Tori shot me and let me smell your butt plug. What that smell like? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It is so bad. Bitch, you better not have no brothers. Because I don't want you around mm-hmm. no extra niggas. <laughs> Let's wrap this shit up, man. Kyle, what you got? Um. Do some wild shit with your life this summer, man. Fuck, I mean, don't fuck the coronavirus. You know, be safe, wear your mask, social distance to what you can. 
We get out here and do some wild shit this summer, man. Fuck that shit. We're not gonna let 2020 go to waste. And if you black, start a business. A real business. Only fans. That's a real business. Shout out to this travel agency I'm about to drop. Hey, we here for that. We taking trips. We gonna shoot an episode of this in, in Jamaica. I'm with it. There for that. We should shoot it at Hedonism. You paying for that? Yes. Extra, you paying for the extra luggage and shit though? I ain't. I ain't That's got definitely Pam, 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 the richest nigga in the room. Pam is broke. I ain't got no money. Pam, the richest nigga in the room. We can go to Hedonism. I want to go. Number one, Pam lives in a gated community, so. The gate been broke for years. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay because you have armed security outside. That's what I said. Like, <laughs> but nigga, there is there not a gate there? You're not getting to Pam's house. No, you're not so getting wrong. to Pam's house. It's definitely armed security. Pam? Get a mouth hug and give a mouth hug. Slip and slide this face is what a, oh. a filthy nigga would say. Oh, my gosh. My yeah, that, that's, that's what I had. Yeah, all you I ain't let her sit on your face. You should like just slide that shit up and down. So, it's yeah, it's a snail. snail. Yeah, like it's, oh, the snail trail. Yeah, smother me. You guys are nasty. As a motherfucker. Wow. <laughs> I only hope that my weekend would go so beautifully. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Man, all I got is uh be juvenescent. Fuck it. What? <laughs> what? What does that mean? Nah, be. <laughs> I don't even know. Nah, it means. just means be Hey youthful. Google. <laughs> what is juvenescent? It just means be youthful. According to dictionary.com, being or becoming youthful, young, young in appearance, having the power to make young or youthful, a juvenescent elixir. Mm. Mm, what an elixir. Be young, be young, wild, and free. Nigga, here for that. That's it. This nigga learned a new word, and hey, it man. wasn't entanglement. I, that, that word is not new. How do we not discuss I the entanglement? Even, yeah, we didn't talk about entanglement. I mean, I, I'm, 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 I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jada got that fat. Because, I mean, we did, but we didn't get Pam's perspective, so. I think she has amazing vagina, and I think he, he's never had anything like that before. This nigga, she has, she's had this nigga Will chasing ghosts for years. Will been fucking people. What's the porn star that you guys like? The one that said if he wants some entanglement, he can have her. What's, what's oh, her Tiana. name? Oh, Tiana. Yeah, she yeah, told Tiana Will. Trump. Yeah. Tiana no. Trump told Will, like, hey, my nigga, you want to get her back? I got you. <laughs> He should definitely do that. I would have flew her out that night. What? That's like him suck this dick. What do you mean? <laughs> like, I would have flew her out. I'm gonna tell that Jada night. like, hey, she's coming to suck this dick tonight. Like, Jada would join. Yeah. No, it's, I'm getting. There you was back. no one. Can't be in here. Like, no, you can. You ain't. We, you ain't. Will act like he ain't know about that shit. I didn't even know about that shit. And they weren't. Knew. They were never really split up. They you know just, how I knew Will. I don't think Will knew the magnitude because the nigga he was knew. in tears. No, he knew it was happening. I don't think he's he an actor. What do you mean he nah, was in tears? Facts. He's an actor. He's an actor. Be like <laughs> a great actor. He knew. That right, nigga knew. The nigga definitely cries. In but he knew for Jada that it wasn't that deep. Like he just knew for August it was. Yeah. He knew what it was. Anytime you bring that shit up four years later. Yeah. That pussy. Trying That's to probably me. why he they left her alone. Like he was getting too attached, and she was like, "Nah, I'm a nigga. That ain't what this is." Yeah. She's never <laughs> like I'm married. Like. Yeah. <laughs> That pussy traumatized that nigga. Yeah, it fucked him up. He a young nigga. Imagine getting some good vintage vagina like that at 22, 23. But that, that ain't fuck. just any old cool Yeah, nigga, that shit'll like, fuck your life up. Nigga, that's peaches from low down there. Yeah. Like, well, where did it? The, that's Jason's lyric. The, that shit'll fuck yeah, your like, life up. Nursing him back to health to fucking. Where when, when did the when did that happen? I mean, I'm sure that could probably happen. I know, but I'm just saying. He's looking like, he out for somebody. Sick, but then he's not I mean, sick. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, when did I that think happen, if I'm, if I'm in the no. middle of having like a heart attack and, and, and a chick start bopping me off, I think I might come back to life. I think that shit might just work. That, that shit probably happen. I think it works. You're going to die. That's going to take you out. That shit probably happened on some real life. Like, they just been well, together look, so long, spending I, time with each other. and If, they, if one I night. die that way, yeah, I'm going to go out singing the upper room. So I'm on the way. We own that. But yeah, I don't know. He just, I don't know. A lot of people think he was being blackballed and they think the only way to get out of that shit was to kind of put that out there. Hey, blackballing. That's what they said. It was fucking with his money. Yeah, but it's like, 
It's just the same shit like with Terry Crews. Like, where do we blackball you from? <laughs> Nigga, if you drop an album and you put it out. <laughs> like, and the here. shit did numbers. That's what that's mainly what that shit was. Like he had all this time to the the and again, like we said last week, before motherfuckers start saying we victim shame and then why wait and all that shit the same way they do with women. Like my nigga, you wait to the de- the day that your album dropping to talk about this shit. Well, if it's fucking with his money and somebody's Who probably knows. saying I don't want to do business with you because you got publicity. Damn. I think it was publicity. Plus, I think he was really. I think that cougar pussy really fucked his life. Up. I'm telling you. And this is different from them situations because he wasn't like raped or molested in no shit. Like this was mutual. Consent, you know what I mean? He probably fell in love with her. She was like, Yeah, not angels. This is, and yeah. it hurt him because he's young. Yeah, feelings got hurt. So, maybe right. it. She, he just ain't never met no top flight security pussy like that before. <laughs> That's it. And he, and well, she gave that nigga a shot of back, and he got damn, he couldn't handle it. Well, they got an open relationship, they've been fucking other people. Worst side nigga ever. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. He loses. Yeah, he definitely shouldn't have said shit. The worst he, side he's the nigga that, that put your news on the internet when he get in his feelings. Man, yeah. right. like, nah, I'll be relax. So was that a wig he had on? Or was that, that nigga's hair? No, that's mm. his hair. That's sad. No, that's his hair. It was a twist out, but he took it out too early. <laughs> she said the nigga had a twist out. Yeah, he took it out too early. That's sad. That shit won't, that's won't tragic. die. Dog, I seen somebody had... Um, it was a meme somebody made that was Killmonger saying, hey, auntie, in <laughs> August, like, <laughs> with this shit on looking like, that shit was funny as hell. He blew it. He'll learn to be a good side nigga. It comes with age. Yeah. Actually, nobody I, else, actually, nobody I was else never, is taking this nigga on as a yeah, side Yeah, I was never a bad yeah. side nigga. Like, I, I said that shit come with age. No, it doesn't. It's, you just. Yeah, he's not going to be. Yeah, it's over. It's out for him. Mm, he blew that. It's over. But yeah, that's it. Till next week. Toast up. Oh man. Toast hey. up. All that good shit. Ugh. And we out. <laughs>